Hello. Today I want to show you how to use the HANA software to access and um, post-process data that has been recorded with the HANA software um, on an automated stage. So first of all, of course, we have to start the HANA software. In the splash screen, we have to make sure that we load um, an existing or to load an existing data set. And in the second step, we have to locate <clears throat> where this data set has been saved. That could be either on the PC where you recorded it, um, in the folder that you specified that time, or when you copied it to another PC in the respective folder. For me, it is somewhere on desktop and it has a folder called Helia Test 1. So you select this folder and then simply press start. During an ANA measurement session, you can do a number of different um, measurement rounds that you can have in a different folder structure. For example, after changing the area or changing the sample. You can access these different measurements. Um, in the measurement definition, you have a drop down. Here I have two, you have like cells one and cells two. Um, you select the one that you would like to look at and then press select uh, set to current. Afterwards, you go back here and um, then you get an overview image that you recorded at that time. And for each area that you recorded data in, you get a square. After starting up the software, the last um, accessed um, measurement is automatically displayed. So if you want to don't have to don't want to look at a different set of data, you can start with the one that has been has been displayed right at the beginning. To access the data, you simply click on those squares. So you can click at one square at a time to load the data of this area. And um, yeah, down here you see the progress. And after this is done, you get up here the force distance curve. Blue is forward, orange is backward. You get histograms, two, two pieces of histograms, and you get two color maps. The channels that you display, for example, in the color map or in the histogram, can be accessed via this free line. Uh, menu. Um, you can select if you want to have the forward or the backward results. You can look at the minimum, which would be snap in in the forward trace or um, the um, adhesion force on the backward motion. You can also look at the slope. And if you ac also activate it, or if you activate later on, calculate the elastic modulus, you could also display the module and um, the contact point coming from the um, module um, calculation. Okay, so um, what else can you see? You can see here in the grid tab, you can see how big your map was physically, how many points you recorded within that map. In the modulation tab, you can look at how many um, data points per curve you were select, you were having, what your maximum force was, how the ramp length was, how fast you were moving if you had a pause. And in the data analysis, you can select, um, for example, to activate the electricity, um, calculation you can select from different models here and um, depending on the model selected you have to give some parameters like the Poisson ratio tip radius or the um, tip opening angle if you want to restrict calculation of the elastic modulus to a certain data range um, you can also give here um, the force values between which the fit should take take place um, if the baseline is not um, straight but it has a, it has a tilt you can correct for this tilt, and here you can define um, which range of the force curve should be used as baseline, starting from the left going towards the, the right. And uh, if you have a lot of data points um, in a force curve on a short distance, um, you can also suppress noise um, from the readings of noise from the sensor. So if you press calculate, now I enable the modulus calculation, you will see down here progress of the calculation. This takes a little. Now you can also access, for example, 
um, the backboard E module as a channel. Takes a little to update the screen, and here you see the the modulus. Um, since the glass is very stiff, there are some some outliers, and also the curve here seems to be the dark part is saturated. You can change the color scale by clicking and pulling um, here the the bar. You can change the range, the the offset, and you can change the the range simply by by scrolling down here, make details in the cell more visible. Yeah, okay, so that's it, um, how to handle data of already opened experiments. Thank you for your attention.